I am going to explain about Bayes theorem. If you want to get my future videos, subscribe my channel. If A and B are the two events, then the conditional probability can be defined as probability to get A. If already B is happened, can be defined as probability of B by A multiplied with probability of A divided by probability of B. I will give the explanation. This is the Bayes theorem using conditional probability. So this is one probability of A by B is equal to probability of B by A, probability of A into probability of B. I will give the explanation proof and this is using uh, the second one is using total probability so using conditional and uh, one more is using this is using conditional probability and this is using total probability theorem total probability so uh, i'll explain so here uh, i'm assuming if a and b are two events so here we can say this a is an event and B is also one of the event. This is an B and this is A intersection B, common probability A intersection B. So then what is the conditional probability? Probability to get A if already B is happened. Probability to get B is happened. We know that uh, the conditional probability if, uh, if a box is having, for example, the box is having four white balls, four white and uh, six red balls are there, six red balls. Normal probability, I am asking probability to get uh, white ball, white ball, probability to get white ball is four, favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes is equal to favorable outcomes, four whites are there, out of total number of outcomes are ten. This is normal probability. Coming to the conditional, probability to get white, white ball, if already red ball is drawn. So that is the condition. One red ball is drawn. F favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. So probability to get white ball, favorable whites are four only, but one ball is drawn, red ball is drawn, mean minus one, is equal to remaining only five are there. So therefore the total number of outcomes are, well now it is nine only. 4 plus 5, 9 only. This is the conditional probability, A by B. I am assuming white ball is probability is A and red ball probability is B. That is the conditional probability. And that conditional probability A by B, probability to get A, if already B is drawn, B is happened, B is occurred, B is happened, that is the condition. Is equal Common probability, we can say this intersection area, common probability, probability of A intersection B, common probability, this area divided by, what is happened, B is happened, probability of B, B is happened. So means the remaining area, this is, this only, A only, we will get A, A probability. Common area divided by that is uh, happen probability B. B will give the our required probability A. So this is an conditional probability. So just cross multiply here. So therefore probability of A intersection A by A intersection A by B multiplied with probability of B is equal probability of A intersection B intersection B. This is the conditional probability first case. I am assuming this is second one. Now we can say this. Now we can say this. I will write uh, second one, second option. I will write second option. Here and uh, one more probability to get B by A. Probability to get B by A means probability 
to get B if already A is happened is equal again common area divided by A intersection B divided by probability of what is happened A. A is already happened. So now um, we can cross multiply here again. So we'll get it probability of B by A can be written as can be written as P of A multiplied with P of A intersection B P of A intersection B this is I am assuming third equation now we can see this uh, I'll, I'll go with this the first equation so therefore therefore probability of A intersection B A by B can be written as we know that already probability of A intersection B by probability of B according to 1. According to equation 1, we can say this A by B equal A intersection B by B. But we can say this substitute uh, equation 3 in uh, equation 3 here. Substitute equation 3 here. We can substitute here this equation. A intersection B is equal to P of B by A into P of A. So in that case, we can write it as P of A by B can be written as A by B is equal A intersection B place replaced with P of B by A, B by A multiplied with P of A divided by P of B, divided by P of B. This is an Bayes theorem using conditional Bayes theorem using conditional P of A by B can be written as P of B by A into P of A into P of B and this is uh, the conditional using conditional probability the Bayes theorem is this one and coming to the using total probability second case I will tell you the same equation I am taking P of A by B is equal we are written so p of b by a multiplied with p of a divided by divided by p of b p of b so this is uh, p of b but we know that according to according to total probability according to total uh, total probability total probability p of b can be written as p of b is equal p of b is equal sigma p of b equal sigma sigma p of p of b by a into p of P of A n P of A n divided by P of A n. So substitute here uh, we can uh, in the equation of I am assuming this is uh, 4 conditional probabilities using Bayes theorem is 4 and this is 5 and substitute equation 6 in substitute equation 6 6 in 5 in 5 so now we can write it as p of a by b can be written as can be written as p of b by a multiplied with p of a divided by p of b means according to total probability sigma sigma i equal 1 to n p of b by a n multiplied with p of a n divided by p of a n p of a n so this is not there p of a n so this is an uh, the total probability sigma i equal 1 to n P of A, B by A n into P of A n or else you can write it as P of A equal 
the total probability p of a is also can be written as sigma i equal 1 to n p of a by b n into p of b n both the ways you can write uh, if we take uh, a we can write it like this if we take b we can write opposite so this is an uh, this is also an bayes theorem using using total probability theorem using total probability theorem so if you have any doubts and suggestions send to me thank you